the restriction of Hajj has shocked the Muslim world. No one has seen this suspension in a long time and therefore considered it highly unlikely to happen again. Some didn't even know that Hajj can or has been cancelled. If one takes a look back at the past and considers major events that previously occurred in the Muslim world, they could easily find that it has been cancelled multiple times. This is due to conflict, plague and good old politics. For instance, Ismail bin Yusuf, in defiance of the Abbasid Caliphate, attacking passing pilgrims on the holy Arafat mountain overlooking Mecca. Tragically, he raided and massacred the pilgrims, which forced Hajj to be cancelled for several months. Due to political dispute between the rulers of the two caliphates, the Abbasids of Iraq and Syria, and the Fatimids of Egypt, Hajj was delayed for Muslims for eight years until they reached an agreement. Later, a heterodox sect of Ismaili Shia based in Bahrain, known as the Karmashans, launched an attack in Mecca in 930. Approximately 30,000 pilgrims had been killed and their bodies were desecrated as they were dumped into the well of Zamzam. After this, the Karmashans proceeded to loot the Grand Mosque and stole the black stone and held it in ransom. Hajj was suspended for a decade until the black stone was returned to the Holy Kaaba. In regards to pandemics, there were plenty. In 1831, a pandemic wave of cholera came from India and hit Mecca, which killed three quarters of the pilgrims. This was followed by a series of pandemics from 1837 to 1840. Cholera would resurface in Mecca and would take another 15,000 lives and again in 1858. This prompted Egyptian pilgrims to rush to Egypt's Red Sea where they were held in quarantine. So why is it important to know these events? Well, as we said before, the Muslim world is shocked by this new change. But if we familiarize ourselves with the past, Muslims feeling like they've been trapped in quarantine can find some comfort in knowing how Muslims of the past have dealt with painful situations such as this. Like all struggles, they understand that the key to success is patience. Patience in all matters, Allah says in the Holy Qur'an, O you who have believed, seek help through patience and prayer. Indeed, Allah is with the patient. May Allah allow us to return to the holy city as pilgrims. Amin.